Uh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the DreamHack Winter Qualifiers here between the four magnificent teams that are fighting for a chance to be the two teams that will advance to the main tournament, main event next week. So we are here live on Room on Fire. My name is Semler, and I am solo casting today because this just happens to be a test as well of what is to come in the week. So this is going to be basically us testing out the in-game GoTV. We know now, we know now that there was a bit of a snafu. And I'll bring you guys back over here so you guys can actually see what's happening in game. That's, uh, let's see. No? Why are you bugging out on me? There we go. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and get the, get this sorted out. Right, that's how it will happen. Might want to... Uh, well, I guess it's all. I guess it's, you know, once you see it, you figure it out. But let's see. It's going to be on Nuke here. So we should be able to hop right back into the game here. So we're testing out now how things are going to be played out throughout... Excuse me, DreamHack Winter next week. So that means that we're going to be joining directly into the games like this. That drops are activated. So guys, if you haven't done it yet, be sure to check your Twitch account settings. You can go by, um, excuse me, you can do that by going to the top right corner of your Twitch.tv uh, page. You see your name there. Click on your name. Click on settings. Go into your connections and check and see which one, which um, if you've actually activated your Steam account with your Twitch account. Because if you're watching here on Twitch, if you want to get those drops, you have to have them both connected. If you're watching it in the in-game client, it's already sorted. Don't worry. you got to be logged into Steam for that to work anyway. So you'll be all right there. But if you're watching it from Twitch, be sure to do that so you get a chance of getting some of the drops. Because we're testing that out now today with these qualifiers. Drops do happen. They go through. So at the end of every round, at the end of the half, all of that jazz, you guys see who actually got lucky and won one of the cases. So stickers, skins, all that jazz, that's all being given out here today. But this is just a test. And also, we should have the in-game voice now, so things should be working again. Unfortunately, apparently we lost the voice during the second half in the in-game. So hopefully we'll have that sorted out for this time around. Um, we also lost it for the stream, so I don't know what happened there. But we'll keep an eye on it uh, for the second half and make sure that everything is sorted out for you guys. But thanks all for tuning in. Thanks all for joining. It's a very fine Saturday afternoon here. And just so you know, all of these teams that you guys are going to be watching today, 3D Max, Copenhagen Wolves, they are all happening. They're all here in Stockholm live. They're all playing this out on LAN where the boot camp is going to be happening for DreamHack Winter next week as well. So all of the teams that are competing, all 16 glorious teams, can come here to Stockholm and, to, and actually boot camp, have the training facilities, have everything that they need to be able to get some proper practice in before the tournament. And that includes cardboard boxes so that they can hide their monitors and basically hide what they're doing from all the other teams that are going to be in that event. But good times ahead, guys. If you're in the Stockholm area, I definitely say go and check it out. It's going to be happening all throughout this week, up until Wednesday, most likely. So you, if you want to go and meet the players, see the teams, see how everything goes down, if you're around here, the place to be. But I think we're going to be able to hop right into the game now. It is going to be 3D Max versus Copenhagen Wolves. And be sure to let me know if the... Um, be sure to let me know if the in-game sound is good now, because I bumped it up about by 100%. So I doubled the in-game sound, because some people were saying that it just wasn't loud enough. So we'll see how that plays out. If I'm too loud, too low, just say it in the chat, and one of the admins will get to me. But it's looking like it's the merry-go-round play here. <laughs> Copenhagen Wolves are everywhere. 3D Max don't actually know where to look. They're going for the straight rush everywhere. Now they get spotted out in yard. They've gone all the way around the map, through ramp, under hell, out into yard. Disturbed is finally going to get a bullet to the face. And all of this to wind up on lower. But guess what? I love it. We got Natsu waiting in Toxic already. Smoke goes down to block off that door. It's going to make his life a little bit more difficult here as the bomb will get planted. Pimp does manage to pick one up. And Natsu is just kind of crouching here. So this whole strategy for him does not work out at all. It's actually going to cost him a little bit, and they do manage to get spotted out here as well. Pimp putting up a desperate fight, finally going to get shot in the face, but jumping shot from Tenski gets the job done, and Glaive from Ramp is managing to just pick up people left and right. It's not too alone here for 3D Max, crouched and toxic. Four members left alive for Copenhagen Wolves, and they do a magnificent job just cleaning the entire thing up. But let's let's go ahead, you know, and basically you know have some fun here and pull a bit of an Anders. So this is what Copenhagen Wolves did. You know, like this. Like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. All the way around, in through secret, back down through the lower halls, and into the lower bomb site, the B bomb site. What is that? That's like going all the way around the map, and the entire time, 3D Max, they're just like, where are these guys, and what the hell do we do? 
It's not until Disturbed actually peeks out on Heaven and spots them in the yard that they have an idea, at least, of what's happening. But that was funny. 3D Max. They gotta be scratching their heads wondering. And that, that's like a matchmaking strat from Copenhagen Wolves. I have no idea. Actually going for that kind of play here. That's, that's too much. Well, let's see now. Tenski going for the bait. He wants Disturbed to push. The mind games are real. Oh, man. This battle. Oh, this could be a very nice opportunity. They do turn away, though, but he, good spray control there. Disturbed manages to get the one frag. That's enough from him. He'll be happy with that. He could have potentially had two if he wanted to get greedy, but job well done still. And it still looks like Copenhagen Wolves are still making up their mind. It looks like it's going to be a ramp push after all. There's nobody here yet. Reflex is down below. So if they do decide to come rushing through, he could have an opportunity. His time to shine, right? They have to hit this timing properly. Kadian is there. Instant headshot. Could pick up the second one as well. He's going to have the time to reload it. Now he is dangerous. Now he is so dangerous. They have to peek him together. They do just that. But that sets it up for Natu to come in with the flank. And now it's just Pimp. Who will manage to pick up Natu, who got a little bit uh, turned around there, showing himself at window. But with 10 seconds left, they get that bomb plant in Copenhagen Wolves. They're hanging on by a thread. It's going to be Garone to pick up one. And he needs to get another one here. Six bullets left in the CZ. Make that 10. Goes for the swag. And what happens now? Does he spot him? Yes, he does, but not fast enough. Kirby pulls the trigger and gets the job done. Copenhagen Wolves, man. They had to be sweating bullets right there. They had to be sweating bullets. The tears. Oh my god. Way too close. Way too close. Way too close. Just that is not comfortable for Copenhagen Wolves. 3D Max did way too much with that buy. CZ's P250, do what you want, but that was just incredibly close for 3D Max. They were way too close to actually pulling that round off. And now Disturbed gets a bit of the running gun to the face. He's not going to really do too much there. Tenski is just having a field day, in fact. Triple spray down for him. And that should be pretty much wrapping this up. Kadian's going to find Natu, who's trying to work his way through radio. And Reflex is now the last man alive here for 3D Max. Trying to work his way in through main. Excuse me. And yes, Jonic, that's a good question. People tuning in on Twitch do get a chance at drops. Just make sure that you go into the settings of your Twitch account and connect your Twitch account to your Steam account. And if you do that, even if you tune into a stream here live on Twitch, you will get the drops that are happening in game. So 47 items have been dropped. You could be one of those 47 people if you're watching on Twitch, so long as you've, if you've, as you've connected your account. So make sure you do that, guys. If you're just tuning in, if you want the drops, make sure that happens. And no, you don't have to pay to open the case. Valve, Gaben is a generous god. He's looking out for everybody. All right, but straight rush here from Copenhagen Wolves. They're really looking to turn things around here for themselves, but Caron is going to manage to, to actually do some pretty decent damage, and Caron alive at the back of the site, but not quite long enough. It's going to be just XR. To get shut down. What was that, Xart? Smoke here, Kaden walking here, and you put the shot through dead on? Sweet mother. Came close enough to the 1v1, but that is not good for 3D Max. This is bad news bears. This is bad news bears. Copenhagen Wolves, they've got four rounds on the board of Nuke. Their T-side, they've started off amazingly well here. This is so good for Copenhagen Wolves. Four rounds. It's, this, is, this is what, this, I mean, this is essentially boils down to what Mirage could have been if Copenhagen Wolves had picked up their pistol. And on Nuke, it's a whole lot harder to get those T-side rounds. It is very difficult to get the T-side rounds. So them getting the pistol, getting the first buy round, this is magnificent for Copenhagen Wolves. They couldn't be happier with how things are going. Uh, let's see. Just 
Shot through. Disturbed. Holding with the CZ. Peekaboo by Natu. He's not going to get it done. Disturbed can't reload in time either. But Reflex could just barely make it out here. And yes, he is going to have the angle now. If Tensky decides to walk through, things could get hairy. Kyrbi making sure that they can't push him through hell either. This is now going to be Reflex's show. Doesn't have... He has actually got XR who's holding on Silo. XR is there to draw the attention. Not sure if Reflex has given away his position yet either. He's got all the bullets. They check the angle. And Kadian will find him. Nicely done there by Kadian. Bravely done by him as well. Checking that close angle like that. But they do manage to land the shots when it counts. And now we go into, into 3D Max's second buy round. And now we have to see. Because the last time Copenhagen Wolves... It's a very cool thing to see, you know, from Copenhagen Wolves as well. They go... Like, Vendetta would be so proud right now. So on your fur on your you know it's 3D Max's first buy round. You know that they're gonna have limited nades because they did go for a second round buy. They did some damage with that second round buy, so they will have a little bit more money, but you know, still, it's gonna be kind of touch and go. So you go for a straight rush out onto the A site and get in there as fast as possible. That is very cool. Now the question is, you know, what do they do to try and change it up here in this round? And it looks like they've elected to actually take their time a little bit. They aren't gonna be rushing in ultra aggro, they aren't gonna be just going crazy. Caron making sure that you can't actually throw any nades in through there, which is a nice little uh, detail. Or, you can, but they'll interact differently. See, because Tensky now, at least, is going out onto the roof. He could be potentially setting up for a nade that could go up to the A site through those windows. Onto Cat, perhaps? Something along those lines. But if that window isn't there, it gets a little tricky. The nades will interact differently. And is he actually going to... No, he's just making sure that nobody's going to try and push through here. Bit of a safe angle for him to hold, actually. This isn't too shabby. Really far back, though. He needs to be expecting 3D Max to be, like, ultra-hungry and aggro to get that far in. But it is an option. And now, let's see. They are starting to run a little bit out of time here, Copenhagen Wolves, though. 3D Max have done a good job of playing the clock. But it's going to be a ramp rush here. Natu is in position already. He could potentially have help from Xart as well. Natu going to hold his ground though. Only gets that one for one. But Xart is now in position to cut off Tensky as he tries to make his way lower. Nade going to go out. And Xart decides to give it up. Ten seconds left and they get the bomb planted. Tensky was just the diversion. Oh, this is not looking good for 3D Max. Reflex. Going to get dropped on literally. And now what happens? Pimp in a superb position. Caron is going to still manage to pick him up, but now Caron, 1v2, not a whole lot of time, has to find the perfect shots, running into a crossfire as well. Does he look left? Yes, he does. Takes the shot, takes the battle. Yes, he does, but then it's taken too much time. He has to back off. And Tensky, in the meantime, is going to live through this just fine. Manages to hold on to his gun. Copenhagen Wolves are off. I mean, this is just as good as it gets. Six rounds on the board at the beginning of Nuke on your T side. Get out. 3D Max, just leave the game now. Copenhagen Wolves, this is just a totally different Copenhagen Wolves from what we saw in Mirage as well. Mirage definitely did not go Copenhagen Wolves' this way. You can tell that they were a bit shaky on it, but this here on Nuke, Copenhagen Wolves are just looking fantastic. Totally different beast. And look at that Karol with the fancy footwork. Just flying through the air. It's going to be the straight upper rush yet again here from the T side. Reflex this time around though. A triple spray. Okay then. Expecting Karol to have a bit of an angle to work there. But it was Reflex's time to shine. Triple spray, spray as they come through uh, on Squeak Door. And he manages to pick them up all. <laughs> Sorry if I'm not respecting 3D packs. <laughs> Nuke is just cutthroat, though. Nuke is just cutthroat. And it's T side. If you, I mean, it can be incredibly difficult to pick up buy rounds off a of T side. So if you manage to get a start like this, Copenhagen Wolves right now, they've got to be on cloud nine. They've got to be very happy. I'm not sure if Kadian got shoulder peek there. I think he did. Drop down to 40. Now they've got the double stack here as well. XR does manage to make it back just in the nick of time. And they are actually expecting a secret push here. Kirby in position. It's going to be XR actually getting spotted out in garage though. Copenhagen Wolves, they're changing it up. They're showing that they're pretty versatile here with their strats. Not willing to just focus on lobby. Not willing to just focus on ramp this time around. They decide to go out and get some sunlight. 
because it is Scandinavia after all. And if you miss that window, if you don't get that sunlight, man, it is brutal. When the sun sets at three and it's pitch black night by four, you're in for very depressing times if you happen to sleep past your alarm clock and wake up late. So Copenhagen Wolves, they realize this. They're Danish. It's not as bad down in Dan Denmark. It is a bit further to the south, but still. What this boils down to is Kadian having horrible timing in that case, because actually he could have had an opportunity to take out uh, Xart there, but it's going to be reflexes. This is what we're talking about. This, this crossfire setup on the upper site, that entire ring around the top, essentially, as you guys can see, you know, disturbs position, but more right on dog like that, looking over squeak as they come through main, and then you have a man holding on the site. So you're trying to deal with this guy over on the site who's just shooting your face off. And then as soon as you peek, you show yourself in the door. Guess what? The guy who's up here, up there, up everywhere in this room, they're lighting you up as well, which is why it can be so very difficult to get gun rounds or to get buy rounds basically done on three on um, T side nuke because you're always running into the blender. It just has to go your way. You have to get the entries, and you know that's what's going to happen now. They're just going to go for another upper rush. Caron holding his ground, and it's Caron this time around who's lighting him up. Well, let's see here. I mean, so far, this is looking like the Corona show. Reflex is here to hold from main as well. This money nade. This money nade. Goodbye, Kadian. And Glaive, the last man now for his team, Copenhagen Wolves. No bomb for him, though. The bomb has been dropped on the upper site. So at this point, the best case scenario for him is to try and pick somebody up. Somebody who may be unsus unsuspecting, who may look away, look the wrong way at the wrong time. But not to. Age has taught him patience, time, the passage of time has worn on him and now he is able to just sit there and look at a door and wait. I wonder if Natu's a good fisherman. That's a good question. Torsen TV. Yeah, we're actually going to get to see Twist play later. That's going to be fun. Alright, but now let's see how things go. This Copenhagen Wolves at this point, I mean, they've got six rounds on T side nuke. Like the rest of this half, they can like just go ahead and gift gift the rest of the rounds to 3D Max and they'll probably be perfectly fine with that. Six rounds is a huge cushion. I mean you can see teams come back from, you know, an eleven four. Even on an eleven four, you can be like, okay, we can make that work. If you get five rounds on T on nuke, you're just like, right, this is starting to look pretty good. But if you get six rounds, best case scenario is that 3D Max get nine rounds on their CT side. That is brutal. You are very happy. Glad to see the Copenhagen Wolves are really taking their time with it, though. They can go for some crazy plays, but now it's going to be Kaden. Kaden wants to push forward here. He knows that XR is there. Misses the opportunity. Oh, my God. Kaden missing a huge opportunity there. It doesn't change the fact that the rest of his team got slaughtered. But Caden had a bit of an opportunity there, at least in his personal battle with Xart, who is currently named John Wick for some reason. And I've heard that that movie is just like horrible as well. So why would he put his name as John Wick? Maybe it's some kind of like roundabout joke that he's trying to make. I don't know. But why doesn't why don't why doesn't he have his actual name? Everybody else is, even though Tensky's kind of writing his name funky, funky style. You know, we can still sort of make it out, right? Fuck, Sart, why you gotta be the rebel? Hmm. Very nice nade there by Natu. Let's see. Surprise, surprise. They're going to come pushing through this smoke. Not to getting greedy. Decides to hang around and actually drop that. He's got Disturbed there to help him as well. He is the first and last line of defense. Disturbed. Good support play there. Setting up that crossfire. Not to managing to just keep it alive. And Copenhagen Wolves not getting anything out of that eco round. So now we go into another buy round. So is it horrible or is it not horrible? You guys got to make up your minds. You got to make up your minds. Is it a good movie or not? I mean, of course, for me, it's great. I can say whatever I want. I haven't even seen the movie. Maybe I believe that it is bad, right? It's a horrible movie. Absolutely horrendous. 
What's also uh, very interesting is Reflex's positioning here up in Yard. This could turn out to be pretty fun for him. If they come pushing past because his teammates are setting it up, they're trying to bait Copenhagen Wolves out into the open. Reflex actually isn't even really getting the time to shine, though, because the rest of his teammates are greedy and decide to take all the frags away before he can even get the opportunity. And Disturbed, he knows that Tenski's going to be coming up on Silo. Oh, and he gets the parting shot through the glass. Get out of here. Disturbed, that is nice. That is dirty. Last shot as well. Last shot finds the headshot on Tenski. And these are DreamHack Winter Cases that you guys can see are dropping in the corner. So again, in case you're just tuning in, be sure to link up your Twitch and your Steam accounts. You can do that in the Twitch account settings uh, right there on Twitch.tv. But you make sure that you do that because if you're watching the stream right now, if your account isn't linked up to your Steam account, you won't be getting the drops. You do have a chance at getting the drops. So if you're watching through the stream instead of watching in-game. So make sure that you do that. Let's see, Glaive may have a bit of a fun opportunity here to get a fast one on Natu. There's the shot. Natu, though, not going to be undone. Manages to hold, drops the flames as well. And now Copenhagen Wolves, they might be able to get control of ramp because Disturbed, I don't know if he was in the proper position, actually. He may have just been coming up ladder. So they do actually give up ramp, but Natu is still alive down here. And Reflex is in a position that he can drop very quickly down to vents as well. It looks like Natsu's been spotted out, changes up the angle, tries to pull a fast one. Tenski going to try and catch him, and he will do a fantastic job. Reflex gets caught as well, and this is looking like a Copenhagen Wolves round all of a sudden. Unless Caron can land some magical smokes. The smoke is down, blocking him off. He has no idea where he's shooting. He can't stop that bomb from going down. And in the meantime, there's the shot missed by Exart. 1v3 situation. Caron faces his doom, and Copenhagen Wolves get a seventh round on the board. And at this point, at this point, this is when it gets very, 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 very tricky for 3D Max. Because that was actually really nicely done there by Copenhagen Wolves. A lot of it comes down to mistakes, really. Glaives, I mean, that, that was already a pretty poor start. That Natu manages to play on boxes and get the kill. The initial kill on Glaive. When Glaive had a man behind him as well, it was two terrorist side. One back behind the other. Glaive faces first. If he dies, that's fine. So long as his teammate picks up Natu. This time around, they decided to just change it up completely. They're like, okay, we're not going to let Natu get away in one piece. We're just going to rush straight down to the lower side, it looks like. This is definitely looking like another Copenhagen Wolves round. It's a perfect setup for them. They've got the smokes. They've got the flashes. They've got all the nades. Disturbed is going to try and rotate through quickly in the vents, but he is going to get caught out in the open. There's not a whole lot that he can do from here. Caron trying to, to, do, to do anything he can. Nades. Anything. But Copenhagen Wolves at that point, they have all the guns they need to watch all the angles. All the entrances. And this is looking like the Disturbed show for now. Does he get the parting? No, he does not. He could have potentially picked up a third one there. That was really nice. Because that time, instead of trying to get complicated and have Glaive and then somebody re-peek behind him to get the revenge frag or the trade frag scoots to get the trade frag and then slowly walking their way down here and then just basically having to land their shots on the man holding vent and on Natu who is holding close to ramp. They're just like, okay, we're just going to run straight at Natu and overwhelm him because he has been throwing nades so potentially we could catch him with a nade out maybe that's a great opportunity there to get him fast <laughs> i love this now they decide to go do they decide to really go for the squeak rush yes they do reflex one for one they would have disturbed still alive at the back of the site not for long though and kirby lands a six shot not to trying to rotate in gets a six spray down onto kirby brings it back to a two on two and XR is still lurking around main, but now they have decent after plant positions here. The bomb will get planted. Not a whole lot that they can do to stop it. Nice flash in, and that's going to allow Tenski perhaps to peek. Second flash, and now Tenski definitely should be peeking behind this. Is he just holding? Ah, he's going to watch. Tenski finds the headshot. And now peekaboo! It is brutal. Copenhagen Wolves walk out of this half with nine rounds to their name. And now, now we're going to see. We're going to make sure. We're going to check. Hmm. Pardon me, guys, just a moment.
just a moment. We're going to test a couple things here during this uh, during this pause. We still have a minute left before things come through. Um, we're just going to come back to the cam actually for this real quick. Welcome. What's up? So, should be under the main spectator panel. I know it should be under the main spectator panel, but it is not under the main spectator panel because perhaps the valve servers are special. Because it's not showing up under the main spectator panel. I can tell you that much. You guys can see it. X-ray, do you guys see it? It's not there. X-ray is on for us, and that's great. But apparently it's not on in the GoTV version. Which is very interesting. Which makes you wonder. So we're going to go ahead and just sort things out here during this quick minute break. But apart from Copenhagen Wolves just managing to pull off really ballsy plays. Really ballsy rushes. And actually have it work. It seems, it feels like 3D Max, they did not expect Copenhagen Wolves to just go for the full aggression. To, to, to be rushed so many rounds out of the half. Okay, there we go. We'll do it like this. Alright. Thank you. Okay. We have it now. That should be good. Mike is still good. Everybody can still hear me. Awesome. No problems this time. Let's get into the second round pistol now. So. Let's do it, guys. We toggled it. Hopefully that worked. Hopefully that fixed the situation. If not, we'll have to sort it out again quickly during a quick break. But now we get into the second round pistol. And let's see what 3D Max now have in store for us here. Copenhagen Wolves. A humongous lead going into the second half on their CT side. Now the question, can 3D Max battle their way back? Reflex is going to find the first frag actually lurking out in yard. That's Glaive down who is holding in garage. So this already makes it a little bit tricky here for Copenhagen Wolves. They're down a man. They've lost the entry. And on the pistol as well, when it is oh so important, that is not an advantage you want to be giving up. Seems like Xart had an idea that Kirby might be peeking close. And Kirby's actually going to have the parting shot on him. So nicely done there. But it is, in the meantime, going to be an upper rush. And Tenski eventually gets rushed out. This is now going to be setting up Kirby rushing in. Pimp everywhere. They're just getting gunned down. And it's just Kadian, last man alive, but not for long. And just like that, 3D Max show how easy it is to get a pistol T-side as well. Maybe we're all wrong, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe we don't know what's happening. Maybe this nuke is now a T-sided map. <clears throat> Clearly, these teams have figured something out for their T-side pistols. <clears throat> Alright, uh, maybe, maybe this is now a T-sided map, because clearly 3D Max, they had a pretty solid idea of what they wanted to do there. Not too looking towards main right now, just not going to really find too much. It's only going to be Cadian holding out in the yard, and he is holding very passively. It's actually going to be Disturbed taking a fight with a push coming in from Copenhagen Wolves. Copenhagen Wolves... They went for an armor buy apart from Pimp, so it looks like Pimp is going to be their primary opper. Pimp only going for the P250 this round, so it looks like he only had 1400 going into it. Kadian, though. Peekaboo moment with that CZ. Disturbed. You were scared. Admit it. Nicely done there. How does he live so long? Uh, because XR had a CZ and he was probably out of bullets. That's pretty brutal. Nuke is definitely T-sided. Clearly. And the, the last map, in case you guys are wondering, I was just told, is Dust 2. So Dust 2 will be the final map of this battle. To settle it all. If Copenhagen Wolves win this map, that is. Because that's the big thing. That's the big question here. Hmm. 3D Max are currently up 1-0. They took the first map of this best of three on Mirage. So Copenhagen Wolves, they could be in for a bit of a sad time. They could have traveled all this way up to Stockholm. Just like 3D Max could have... I mean, this is happening on land right now in Stockholm. All five, or all ten players rather, five for each team. But all ten players right now are in Stockholm competing in a single best of three to get themselves a spot in next week's major tournament. So 3D Max currently up 1-0. They need two maps to advance. 
Copenhagen Wolves battling. Battling to keep their hopes alive here. And it's going to be the long... It's going to be the yard play pretty much here coming out from uh, 3D Max. Nice little peek there. The wall bang through. Kaden going to get dropped fairly low. Glaive taking a bit of damage as well. But 3D Max will walk out of this with yard control. Pimp, however, is going to be a bit of a peekaboo position here. Holding just by the entrance to, C uh, to Secret and having the CZ. Let's see. Now, does Pimp find the shot? Do they walk down? Yes, they do. They're looking like they're going to walk down. Don't do it. Oh, they're going through garage instead. Okay. Glaive is the one who's actually the focus of attention here. Oh, it's a double stack as well. This is brutal. Kadian and Pimp both holding this angle. Kadian is going to be the bait. Kadian is going to be the bait. Disturbed. Does he do it? Pimp. Double kill. Doesn't get the triple though. But still, that's a lot of damage dealt. And now those are two guns that they have to worry about Copenhagen Wolves picking up as well. I would almost want to see them just kind of leave a guy behind just to make sure that he can't wrap around behind them to pick up those AKs. But Tenski is going to be up in the vents. They will manage to take out Kirby. Tenski doing the best he can. Only a USPS in hand, however. He's trying to stop this bomb from getting planted. He knows he's done damage to, uh, to XR. <clears throat> but go. Go pick up the gun. You, there's an AK right around the corner. Tenski. Pimp must have told you that there's an AK around the corner. You have a goddamn USPS. There's two guns right there. Look at that. Natu's just like, no, I don't like the Galil. I'll go pick up the AK. There you go, Natu. Save yourself some money, friend. But this is now shaking up to be a fantastic situation. 3D Max 9-9 nine, nine now going into the first riot bound, uh, first excuse me, buy round for Copenhagen Wolves. Copenhagen Wolves, well, we'll call it a second buy round because they did buy in the second round. So this is their rifle round. And Copenhagen Wolves now, they're going to be the ones who are under pressure. They have to shut them down right here. If 3D Max pull the same kind of performance that Copenhagen Wolves did in the second, in their first half, this is it. 3D Max could win that spot at the main event. And the Finns, man, they put in the work. I'm sure Natu has studied a lot of CS from his uh, hot tub. Because Natu, Natu being Finnish, he has a hot tub outside. And what he does is he'll, when there's big matches, big tourneys on, he'll drag his TV out and put his TV by the hot tub and just sit in the hot tub and watch watch the tournament. Like, that's that's how Natu... And then he'll have, like, Disturbed come over. And, like, you know, that that's how Natu rolls. He just, yeah, hot tub CS. That's 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 how it is. How sick is that? That sounds comfy, especially now that it's cold outside. That'd be perfect. I'm jealous. I think you guys can tell. All right, it's going to be a ramp push coming in here for 3D Max now. John Wig, XR just trying to spray his butt as much as he can. Basically, they're trying to keep him on point, but Kirby is going to be able to push right behind them. Disturbed getting a crucial entry frag, however, manages to open up this A site. It's going to be a man holding on Cat Cadian. Gets taken out. Pip with the flank. Does some good damage, and Kirby coming in through hot. It's Disturbed, but he runs out of bullets. Disturbed had him dead to rights. Disturbed was on the money with that shot. He had Kirby dead to rights, but he runs out of bullets. And Kirby will save the day. Copenhagen Wolves, they win their first rifle round. And this is it. This is it. Where do they go now, 3D Max? They have enough for a big buy. But if Copenhagen Wolves start to run away with this, then it's going to be incredibly difficult for 3D Max to come back in. Because there, they picked up their three rounds after the pistol. Now it's the battle. Now it gets very difficult. And it looks like it's going to be the straight push. Oh, God. They they bunch up and Kirby gets two kills. Worst case scenario time now for 3D Max. Absolute worst case scenario now. They lost two members. They've taken damage on Natu. At least they've got the bomb. But now Copenhagen Wolves, they can back off and play safe. Hold angles. They don't need to show anything to 3D Max. This is an incredibly difficult difficult position to fight your way back from now because it, it, if all comes down to Copenhagen Wolves making a mistake, essentially giving yourself up for a frag so that Natu can shoot you in the face so that Caron can unload. Otherwise, it's just not going to happen here for 3D Max. Let's see. Glaive peeks out, spots out reflex in the yard. Takes minimal damage, though. And in the meantime, it's the battle here in hell. Nice shot there by Caron. Catches Kadian out. Glaive is still alive, however, looking in. 
And there's only 40 seconds left here for 3D Max, so they still have to find a way. And it looks like they will be heading back to the yard. Or rather, back to ramp. One thing is that they currently have three guys. Where is... Okay, there it is. There's their guarantee. Can't be. First line, three guys now going to be rotating in here for Copenhagen Wolves into the vents together. Nice positioning there. Three flex just doing massive work. And now it's all down to Glaive just like that. It's all down to Glaive. If 3D Max win this round, that would be incredible. Reflex, three kills. Caron, two. And 3D Max come back from an inc uh, just a situation that should not happen. Copenhagen Wolves, a two-man advantage. CT side nuke. And 3D Max somehow manage to even it up and then take the lead and now we're into a 10 10 score line and copenhagen wolves are going to be on pistols this is it finish skill ladies and gentlemen never count him out papa Natu, he is here and again it's looking like it might be nap time for copenhagen wolves if he has anything to say about it Glaive taking the battle. I mean, they're trying to draw him out right now. P2K for Glaive as well. He's just saying, I've only got this weak rinky-dink pistol. Come fight me. Come get this frag. You know you want the ego frag. And in the meantime, Kirby is just crouched there with the P250, ready to slap them down if they decide to come through. But it looks like it's going to be action elsewhere on the map right now. All of this, all of this effort. And Copenhagen Wolves can't really get too much out of it. And yes... This is a T-sided map apparently now. Nuke has become T-sided. But it's a nice read here for 3D Max. Playing very patiently, taking their time, and they will get ramp control eventually. And it looks like right now it's going to be the rotation. Pimp is out in the yard. Kid be holding upper, and it's go only going to be Glaive here on this lower side. But they, had a, they still had a smoke to block off window. They have a smoke to block off the doors. Glaive is going to open that door and actually try and put some damage out. That's not going to save him from not to. Now it's only Pimp with the Franklins. Fitting gun for the Pimp. Bomb has been planted. I could totally imagine like Pimp walking into events as well, you know, just being like, yeah, this this is my blinked out P250 with my Franklins on it. Just rolling with my Benji. Pimp right now is crossing his fingers, hoping somebody's going to come into the vents. Unless that was, like, not glaringly obvious for all of you. He's just, well, then he's going to actually go ahead and lay down a bit of the smack. But he was hoping that they were going to try and walk through here, get a couple of things, get a, basically get a couple of kills, and there you have it. Pimp is going to be able to do a little bit of damage there, pick up Disturbed. But at the end of the day, Copenhagen Wolves, they need more than that at this point. They really need to put 3D Max down. Hmm. Because money is actually looking fairly decent here for 3D Max. They've got another buy round guaranteed if they were to lose this one. Copenhagen Wolves, double eco territory. This is it. Copenhagen Wolves, though, if you were to come into this game and look at this score, you could still say, yeah, Copenhagen Wolves, they're in the lead. That's how CT sided Nuke is. And that's why Copenhagen Wolves, rather than go for a risky force buy, try and make something happen where they would have to have a couple of guys force up, they're willing to go ahead, sit back, Get another round of pistols in. Invest a little bit in the nades, whatever. But they're they're willing to sit back a little bit here and give another round up to 3D Max because that's how confident they are in their CT game. Kadian is about to have the time of his life right now. This is big adventure time. Two guys turned away from him. Kadian, go around this corner. There's the flash. And there's the mo! Oh my god! Double kill for Kadian. Oh, that's pain. That's agony. Oh, that hurt. And Copenhagen Wolves, just off of that, Katie and Dom, they managed to turn it. Tensky with the Deagle will pick up another frag, but now 3D Max, once again, good rifle management there. Good rifle, man, good rifle, man, excuse me, rifle management by 3D Max, making sure that the gun gets dropped on the other side of the fence, making sure that Copenhagen Wolves can't push in behind and pick up the rifles to use against them. But when you have CZs, the hell do you need an AK for anyway? That's incredible. Copenhagen Wolves. Just like that, an eco round win here would be shattering for 3D Max. All right, it looks like they want to go for the upper play, but there you go. Flank comes in, Kirby shooting Caron in the back. Pimp is going to be here as well. Pimp eventually gets taken out, but it's Xart just caught in this crossfire. The Triangle of Doom closing in on him. They save two AKs as well, and Copenhagen Wolves 
they managed to get an eco round win off of just Kadian coming around the corner and doing sick damage to 3D Max. Two kills, nearly drops a third with a point blank spray. Unreal. Goodbye, 3D Max. Even, even, even Steven. Let's see. Good nade damage already, actually. It looks like Tenski and Pimp already took in some take a excuse me, have taken some damage, so this is actually fairly painful. Tenski on the upper side. Probably HE coming in. Bit of a peekaboo moment there. 3D Max just wanted to let him know. But then the lobby. The nade out and yard doing quite a bit here to 3D Max. 3D Max, they're now trying to change up their game as well. Bit of the yard smoke's going down to cut off vision. Make sure that Kadian with that AWP can't get too much done. They're trying to keep him guessing at this point. They want to see. And look at Pimp coming down here to long. He has to clear this out now because of those smokes. They may not know if anybody from 3D Max managed to get down into the long tunnels. So Pimp is here to block up that route. But 3D Max in the meantime are changing it up. This is a pretty sick position here, however. Tenski and Glaive could have a field day if they try and rush out. Double up on a site like this. 3D Max, they may try and rush. It looks like they want to wrap around through main. It's going to be main through hut, and here you go. First blind. Tenski does the job. Glaive still alive on the site. Guts two. This is big. Glaive not going to get three, but still. Man advantage retake now for Copenhagen Wolves, and Pimp perfect timing to come through main. Takes out the last man. It's going to be cut on to stand his ground and actually take a pretty solid fight there. Turns it into a 1v2, but now he there's so many angles for him to watch, and they're going to be splitting him up. Kaden with a nice off shot to clean it up there. We'll take him out. And at that point, there's just too many angles for Kuron to watch to be able to make it happen. And yes, that's actually a good point to make there. In the sense that if you have an AK... It is actually a way to skimp and save on money if you're on the CT side. Kadian, for example. Right now, Kadian, that is actually a bit much, though. Him not going for head armor in this scenario is a bit much. If you know that 3D Max have enough money to full buy AKs, you can skimp on the head armor and go for some nades instead. Because it's 350 bucks more to actually pick up that head armor. It's going to cost you, and a bullet from an AK is going to kill you whether you have a helmet or not. So... That's why you can cut corners. If you're up against pistols, though, or anything else, Galil, pistol, anything else, if you don't have a helmet, you're going to die. So I'm not actually a big fan of Kadian skimping on the head armor like this. I mean, sure, now this round they're going to have AKs, but you've got 7,400 in the bank, Kadian. Just drop the money and get the head armor. The CZ-75 is head, one shot, headshot up to a certain range. Fairly close range. I believe it's the same range as the P250 because it has the same armor pen values as the P250. So, basically it's sad times if you're up close to a CZ or a P250. 5.7, Tech 9, they're, all, they're each a little bit farther for the one shot, headshot. But it's all within you know that me medium range, 2 to 3 meters. Ooh, Kadian is going to be the first one to find the frag on the man out in yard, though. But they have managed to get control of ramp right now, 3D Max, so they could have some options going into this. Pimp is already in the position, as we can see, in the vents. He's going to change that up fairly quickly because of this.
Okay, then. We're back. Mike is back. I looked at it just in time, it looks like. Okay. We're going to figure out what's going on, because there is actually zero reason why that should be happening. So that is a bit odd. That is definitely a bit odd. Keeping me on my toes, giving me a heart attack. What's up, everybody? Keeping you guys as well. But the mic... Now, let's see. Disturbed is going to find the entry, but it's going to be Glaive to drop the bomb carrier on upper sight. Now, we still have the man alive. It's Tensky trying to put shots through on the smoke, but it's going to be Pimp with the flank through main, and this is going to be it. Copenhagen Wolves will pick it up, and why would it all of a sudden just decide to cut out the mic in the map point? I do not know. It is beyond me, but we're going to see during the break, guys. We are going to be... We're going to be... Yeah, we're, we're back just for the end of the map. Perfect, but that means, as you guys can see... It is match two of three. Map two of three should be the proper terminal terminology there, actually. Map two of three. Because match is, well, okay. Whatever. But we're going into the last map here. It's going to be Dust 2, and that's going to be after the break. You don't want to miss it. This is going to be between 3D Max and Copenhagen Wolves. One of these teams is going to DreamHack Winter and Young Shipping. And one of these teams is staying here to get drunk in Stockholm. Let's find out which.